सो माय नेम इज जतिन बट एवरीवन कॉल्स मी लाइक मिस कमोलिका और कमोलिका बिकॉज आई मीन टू ड्रैग एंड स्टफ अ लॉट सो आई एम बाई सेक्शुअल एज वेल एज नॉन बायनरी बिकॉज आई डोंट लाइक टू बी कॉल्ड ही और ही शी वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट इट्स लाइक अ टर्म वे यू डोंट लाइक टू कॉल योर सेल्फ एज अ गर्ल और एज अ बॉय ट्रैक क्वीन इज वे अ गाय ड्रेस इज हिमसेल्फ एज अ वुमेन एज मो लाइक फेमिनिन वे एंड अ ड्रैक किंग इज वेर अ गर्ल ड्रेस इज अप एज अ मेल गाय टू परफॉर्म और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो आई टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ ड्रैक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी ड्रैक इज नोन एज ड्रेस रिजेंबलेंट रिजेंबलिंग अ गर्ल बट इन नाइनटीन एंड एटीन सेंचुरी इट वॉज नोन बिकॉज ऑफ यू नो देर वॉज इज लॉन्ग गाउन एंड लाइक ड्रेस इज बीज यूज टू कीप ड्रैगिंग एंड ऑल अराउंड द फ्लोर दैट इज वेर द नेम केम फ्रॉम so drag has been in this world from last 13 or like more like it has been from a long time cuz female were not allowed in the broadway and everything so male use male like male guys or like gays used to dress up as a female and act and everything so it takes me approx 3 hours cuz it has a lot to do you have to cover your beard i don't have beard but still i take more like 3 hours or something cuz it is very hard to talk to do your makeup to wear a wig and to do padding and stuff it is very hard you have to draw on your boobs and everything when you are in drag you need to be stench like really like into a female version more than like less than a manly version like muscular not masculine okay so it is where you take pad and you cover your area and everything talking is kind of very uncomfortable and very hard so it is where you take your genitals and your thing you push it back then you uh, duck it like it should be really tight so you can get a more feminine look and like a you don't have a thing down there it should look like that so it is very hard so and when you do padding it gives you more shape and like structure to your body so it has to be like very perfect and feminine every time you uh, perform or something it is really hard so it was pretty hard to come out so it hasn't been like before i was out it was it is still going on where i like go through cyber bullying and also harassment and like people calling me god chakka meetha on the road so it is very disrespecting but i really feel like you know just do it chuck it i don't care I told my auntie that I want to go at the pride. So she told me what is a pride. So I told her it's in pride where gay and lesbian and transgender people meet up and they like celebrate themselves. So my auntie told me why do you want to be there? And I was like I'm a part of it. So she told me okay you can go but just keep this in your mind you uh, don't make us feel shameful, pathetic or disrespectful about our decision what we made. so just go and rock it on i have attended two prides actually and both were very amazing and very crazy it was the most memorable like days of my life because it is when i got my first kiss also 25 june the actual pride day for the world cuz it is when we got our justice and everything not in india in usa it was 2000 uh, 6 september 2018 where we got our rights in india we got respect we got our rights we got a love this okay, first of all happy pride month and i'll tell you to be kind love yourself love the community love the heterosexual community too cuz if you don't support them how will they know like uh educate them let them know what you are explain them what is the difference between you and the other communities like tell them like people think it's common to be a hijra and a gay so just educate them that these both are the different things and also like stay more like humble to yourself